Hey guys, and welcome to the shack. Um, today I'm testing different ways of removing rust from uh, different ring stand clamps. Um, so you can see here, there's quite a bit of rust um, on this joint here. Um, normally it's not much of a problem, but um, eventually these can rust so much that they're difficult to turn, um, and that can be a problem. Um, so today I'm going to test um, vinegar and baking soda, or sorry, vinegar and table salt. This is a solution, 5% uh, vinegar with a bit of table salt in it. Um, this is very good at removing the oxide layer from copper, um, so I'm going to try it with um, this iron rust. Um, now I'm using, uh, this is a uh, 90 degree or right angle clamp. Um, the screws fit in through here, uh, but I've removed them. Uh, so that they can uh, soak, so that the entire surface can soak in the solution. Um, so I have, oh sorry for bumping the camera there. <laughs> so I have two screws. Um, they both have about the same amount of rust. Um, I'm going to submerge this one in the vinegar solution and just leave this one on the table and see what happens. So I just have a petri dish and I'm going to pour this on. get it fully submerged. All right, so this nail or this screw has been sitting in the vinegar and salt solution for a little over an hour now and um, I've been noticing some bubbling haven't really noticed a significant difference in uh, the amount of rust or the color of the rust. Um, but I've uh, disassembled another one of my clamps. Here are the screws. Uh, and I'm going to put one of these in. Um, this should also, um, I'm going to put this one in. And this should show uh, what it does to this rust right here on the head of this screw. Um, because this one didn't have much rust um, on the head, so that'll this uh, testing this screw will show us that. Let me separate them a little bit. Where's my stir rod? There it is. Huh? Okay, you can see some flakes. You probably can't see it that well. Let me zoom in. Let's see. Apologize for the background noise. My neighbors are mowing their lawn. <laughs> um, yeah, you can see some flakes. Pretty small, but yeah, you can see some flakes like right there. Um, so that's probably uh, maybe iron acetate that has formed, or maybe just the rust falling off. Anyway, I'm just going to leave this in there and uh, come back once I notice a significant difference. Okay, so the screws have been sitting in the vinegar and salt solution for about 12 hours now. I'm going to uh, remove them and wash them off. All right, now I'm going to take these over to the sink and wash them off. All right, after uh, quite a bit of scrubbing, I've managed to remove uh, pretty much all of the rust uh, from both of the screws. Um, yeah, they're a lot cleaner now. Um, so it looks like this method won't like dissolve all the rust uh, and just leave you with a clean nail, but it makes the rust easier to scrub off. This is just an up-close comparison of the difference between the two screws. The screw on the left was sitting beside the petri dish, but was not uh, inside the solution. And the screw on the right uh, was inside the vinegar and salt solution. You can see uh, that both sides of the left nail are uh, very corroded, whereas the right nail, or screw, sorry, looks uh, pretty much as good as new. And um, just as another comparison, here's the other nail that was in the petri dish. You can see pretty much the same thing. 
So in conclusion, the vinegar and salt method is great at removing rust and it's a very safe way to remove rust from iron screws, um, despite the fact that it requires a bit of scrubbing to get all of the rust off. Well, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.